So I'm, I'm a general surgeon, and I've been in practice now for between 20 and 25 years. And um, I did get married when I was 37 and had my first and only child at the age of 38. And actually, it wasn't too long thereafter, probably within the next seven years, that I was diagnosed with my colon cancer. I, I like to run, and I was trying to do my usual running path, and what I found over a few months is that I it was getting harder and harder to do, so that I'd end up walking for about a third of my usual um, run. And I figured I was hypothyroid or had something like that going on, but being a physician, I ordered my own blood tests, and I thought I would see, just do a panel of, and screen myself. And I wasn't hypothyroid, but I was anemic. And that was a perfect explanation to why I was so fatigued all the time. My husband, being a family practitioner, uh, felt that I needed to have it evaluated because we couldn't attribute it to my diet. That's one of the more common reasons for young people to get um, anemic. Um, so that prompted a colonoscopy. And that's when um, Dr. Fine found the colon cancer. I was struck, in fact, it's hard to even talk about now, I was struck with overwhelming sadness because I really imagined that was the end of my life. And, and that's what it was. It was overwhelming sadness and somewhat disbelief. But being a physician, I know that cancer can hit anybody at any time. And, um, so, and I'm, I'm no exception to that. When I was first diagnosed, and, and I, was, I bargained a bit, thinking I just want to live a year. And if I can live a year, that's a very long time. But then my year was up, and I thought, that was way too short. I need more life than that. And now I'm seven to eight years out and doing fine. And I'm, in, and I'm considered cured. With colon cancer, it's different than some other cancers where you can never say that, but I can say that. My practice centers a lot around breast cancer. But whenever a patient comes in and they've hit the magic age of 50, I make absolutely certain that they've had their colonoscopy or had their colon screening done in some fashion. Um, and I'm amazed at the number of people that don't want to do it. Most often because they don't want to do the prep or take the time to do it, which I can relate to because it's really the most miserable part of the whole thing. But um, it saved my life.